All right, Ray. Listen to me. Have you tried turning it on and off? I told you, it won't turn on. Yeah? And what happens when you press the button? Fucking fly out on your switch. I told you, nothing happens. It's dead. Just tell me exactly what you're doing. Right now, I'm contemplating the order. I'm moving it around the desk or nothing. Ray, Ray, are you pressing the mouse button? No. Ray, listen, I can't give you computer lessons when I'm driving a car, can I? Go on into the office and an order will show you what to do. All right? Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll talk to you later. Well, did you figure out what to do with the flyers? Well, I just collected as many as I could find. Did they go out to houses? Yes, they did. Let's just hope that nobody turns up. Here, here's a look. Put it away, will you please? Hiya, love. All right? Yeah, great. Oh, Happy New Year. Thanks. So, uh, did they confirm the appointment? Yeah, I made the call. Yeah, next Tuesday afternoon, so I'll be there. Well, yeah. it's getting real. It's going to be fine. Well, you're going to have to act like a couple, you know? We don't want them asking any questions. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll head on. Yeah, thanks, Tommy. Why don't you sit down, love? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. Is there any aspirin? Did you drink a bottle of water before you went to bed? <sighs> I hope this isn't becoming a habit. I don't think they're going to have pubs in the refugee camps, Dad. I'll keep an eye on you. Are you going? I want to take photos of a friend in Reuters. He's going to look them over. Yeah, Farah's going to teach English for six months, too. Why, he must have been very persuasive. Uh, he wore me down. <laughs> I'm going to make some tea. Will you help me? You don't need help, do you? Does Mum know? Well, she won't like Jim knowing first. I'll tell her tomorrow. At the party. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to go down well. I'll tell her Thursday, then. She's not going anywhere. Here. Plug that in. I don't know what the neighbours are like. Well, there's only one way to find out. The way is anyway. No, there's going to be a road. He's meeting his debate team. Debate team? Mm. On New Year's Day? You're a very innocent woman. They have a quarter-final first day back. He takes it very seriously, Mondo. Yeah, I know what they're debating. A bag of cans. <laughs> <laughs> Does he give lessons? I always fancy myself in a band. I think it's very loud. But you, you can't just practice with headphones on. It's not very rock and roll. What the hell is going on? I was just testing the amp. You know that I work nights, Melanie. I didn't know anyone else was in. It's New Year's Day, OK? No one wants to hear that racket at 10 o'clock in the morning. Now, put it away. I'm going to go back up and see if I can get back to sleep. Control your guests, will you? We'll bring in the last few boxes and then go. I'm sorry. Actually, be here for 2.30. We need to discuss kitchen times. Kitchen times. Did Jack ask you about going to the Collinses? Yeah, I fobbed him off. He thinks it's his fault. Ah, no, he doesn't care. Of course he does. I can hardly explain it to him. He's getting used to people walking out. Yeah, but some of us came back. No, it's not good for him. <sighs> Sorry, love. Hey. Yeah, have you any of those leaflets left? Why? Because they're going great. They're all gone in Venus, and the hungry pig is the same. Yeah, sorry, no, I've none left. Right, well, good. Text me over the template, and I'll uh, do another 2,000 of them. Get that junk for Alex. He's going to hand them out for 20 quid. I don't think we should. Why? They're great. Look. Read it, Wayne. Yeah, I'm going to need some time off to give a driving lesson. A free car. Sorry. Well, no wonder they're all gone. They're, they're all gone in the v Venus and the hungry pig is the well, same. I'm trying to take back as many as I could. Yeah, let's see. So we're not publicising the launch, but if one person shows up, 
We're going to have to give them a free car. Now, how is this helping me? Look, I said I was sorry, OK? I made a mistake. I tried to take them all back, apart from actually going door to door, all right? All right. It's OK. I'll be fine. Well, it doesn't say new. Hmm? Well, you know, it was that micro we've been uh, trying to get rid of since August. Not the one we're selling for parts. Bang on, right? Put some tyres in that, right? Be good, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'll have to give a driving lesson. I'll postpone it. Give Doug a ring. Good man. Thanks, Ray. Here. This is this is gonna be all right. It's just a little blip. Yeah, we're down a car, two extra shifts. And then how much is it gonna cost to do it up? It's more than a blip when. Here, I'm gonna take care of all of this. Don't worry. You've got enough to be concentrating on, okay? Yeah. We should have had a theme. Well, it's not enough getting married. You want to make it special, too? I'm thinking about the guests. People don't like weddings. They say they do because they don't want to hurt your feelings, but they don't. Weddings are boring. This has really helped my confidence with the speech, lad. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Tomorrow, pick a table and count the number of times that people look at their phones. That'd be a Twitter hotspot. Uh, Tinder, more like. Don't mention the word Tinder, especially in your speech, or Charlie will have us on the street. Yeah, I say his speech would be filthy enough. I told him everything. Yeah. Losing your innocence in the green cinema. What was her name again? Julie Dwyer. Dwyer. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. hey. oh, gosh. Yeah. I remember the film, too. Planet of the Apes. Still don't know how it finished. I wonder where Julie is now. <laughs> Nursing home. I looked her up on Facebook. Look, about Sorok. You're still coming. Maybe I shouldn't be skipping off the day after the wedding. Asher, she'll have Bob. She won't even notice you're gone. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to feel like a family just wins before I go. But you hate your job. You have no boyfriend. Thanks. You have a ticket and you need to show you the ropes. I'm just saying you're not going to get a chance like this to change things again, you know? Yeah, but the day after the wedding... Well, there'll always be something. Look, maybe I'm being selfish. Just because I want you to go doesn't mean it's the right thing. It doesn't hurt. So you'll come? Yeah. Result. That was my fault. I'm sure she'll settle down. I don't care if she does or not. I need the bed. This is nice, isn't it? Bob has gone up market. Yeah, it's grand. Two sixteen. Fourteen minutes early. I know. What's that about? I feel like I should have a notebook and an agenda. Hey, hey. We're not forgetting our house meeting. I know. I have to. Better not that back. If you want any more flyers delivered, you should come to me. I know the routes. Look, I can get a kid to do for peanuts. They bend them. I guarantee it. They do a couple of streets and get bored. Right, well, look, if I'm doing it again, I'll give you a show. Yeah, great, thanks. All right. Happy New Year. Stop. I feel old enough. I'm still writing 2010 on my savings book. Jack was asking you. For scale extra? Is that the car game? You mention it. About uh, every 10 minutes. Mm, I was hoping he'd forget. Not a chance. He's car crazy. Even knows the logos and everything. Well, if he's asking, and tell him I still have it, it'll just take a while to organise. What kind of while? The year? Uh, I don't know. Uh... Well, what exactly are you asking me? He's going to be let down anyway. What's the point in dragging it out? Why is it always so complicated? Is it? You know what they did to Haley. You can't just start palling around with him. Look, he's seven years old. Right? Babe, I'm sorry, it's none of my business. I could kill Robbie. Why don't you do up the game? And I'll give it to Robbie and Carol. Yeah, thanks. How's it looking now? Yeah, it's a bunch of tables with cloths on top. Mm. What can we do to class it up a bit? I'll make sure there's plenty of food. That's what people remember. Good man. Excellent. Right, well, good news. My present turned up. I told you we don't want anything big. Uh, trust me, you'll approve of this. Do you need anything else here? Um, no, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah. Talk about bittersweet, eh? Jim. What do you mean? We're having both parties together. Look, here, I could use a hand in the kitchen. What parties? For your wedding and Farrah's going away. Going away? 
Tell me what he's talking about. Syria? Are you mad? If it's not Syria, it's on the Turkish side. Oh, so when there's a gas attack, it'll stop at the border. Shame, will you just tell her it's safe? There's been no gas attacks, no violence. It's a properly run camp. Is this why you were sneaking away without telling me? Well, I was going to say you at the wedding. I suppose I should be grateful you stayed for that. Oh, don't be like that. When are you going? Thursday. We booked our tickets. Syria? It's a good ten miles from the border. <sighs> you won't be coming back. I know how bored you are here. I just want to have a career again. And when was the last time I could say that? Could you not wait a while? I really think I could do some good there. They'll be gone too. Two children. And, and you're both thousands of miles away. So this is why I didn't tell you yet. Does everybody else know? I didn't tell Bob. Well, I suppose that's something. No. Forget it. At least she wasn't angry. Angry I could deal with. The raffle is free and you get a free car and everything, right? Okay. Oh, listen, can you please hand these out, Philip? Yeah? I'll come back tomorrow if you need more. Yeah, sure. All right? A free car? You heard? I heard nothing else all day. That's great. That means it's working. But everyone thinks you're bad. I don't care, man. Okay, as long as they show up at the launch. How much does it cost you? It's an old car, okay? And we're doing it up. So that's a car, labor, and parts. How much were you gonna sell it for? You know, you should read me my rights, you know, if you're gonna interrogate me. What, 400, 600 quid? You could have got an ad cheaper on the radio. I'm trusting you to run the garage as a business. It's not a great start. You know, uh, she's not gonna bail you out again. Come here. Breathe. What? Breathe out. Good. What am I supposed to have done? I'm just keeping an eye on you. That's what mothers do. Something else to do, wasn't there? What's it called? Oh, yeah. Trust our children. <laughs> How did the debate meeting go? We did climate change and the housing crisis. Now, if today was it okay to punch a Nazi? Is it? I think you can make a case that punching doesn't go far enough. Do you want a hand? Yeah, you can peel the spuds for me. Hi. Hey. You don't mind if we work and talk? I'm making a stew for later. Uh, no, I'm glad you're cooking now, actually, because uh, it's Tommy's night in the kitchen. He has his own night? He has two. It's part of his rent. What a man. Yeah, well, it's a small space, as you can see, so... Tommy gets first call, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And does he make dinner for all of us, or...? No. When are our nights? You don't have nights. Tommy gets two, you get two, and we get three between us. That, that's fair. Alex, I'm not negotiating with you, OK? These were the rules before you moved in. I'm not going to change them now. Jane, it does seem a bit unfair. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. There's also a noise rule, which means no guitar. OK, so if you want to practice, you need to plug it out. It's an electric guitar. You plug them in. Should you not be making hip-hop or something anyway? You said what? I, mean, I just mean, like, should you not be making hip-hop or dance music? Where do you think I mean he is? Turn left at Compton. Stop. You're going to let me be racist. You don't call me that. Just peel the spuds. Sorry. I'm right in the kitchen. I only meant because he's young, Melanie. OK, it just, it just seems that only alphas have guitars these days. Yeah, well, he knows more about that than you do. He knows more about racism, too. Well, don't be called that in my own house. This is our house. Look, there's gonna be disagreements. I'm gonna let that go, OK? But you need to have a word. OK, I'm gonna leave this with you, Robbie. Thanks. Yeah, sure. Yeah, thanks, man. Can I have 
two coffees, please, Robbie. Absolutely. Thank you. Will I give that to him for you? Nah, one conversation won't kill us. You sure? Yeah. All right, thanks, Anna. See you. How are you? Mm -hmm. I wish you a second. Yeah, I just want a word. Work is hard enough without you coming in here making a scene. Do you remember I was talking to Jack about the scale electrics? No. One of the lads owned it. It's been knocking around for years. I told him I'd fix it up for him. Okay. And some of the tracks are a bit battered, but it all works. Thank you. I was going to fix it up with him, and there's another promise you ruined. 32 years with Sharon, I never looked at another woman. Do you know what that means? Uh, low sex drive. Do you mind? Um, it means she trusts me. And after what you did to my Haley, what woman to trust you again? And that includes your own wife. I don't need you coming in here giving me advice on my marriage. Thanks, Santa. <laughs> we may be together now, but deep down, Carl knows what you are. You scored Haley. And then you, you left her for Carl Foley. <laughs> Any sign of those coffees? We're, we're, we're talking. Oh, I think we're good here, Heather. Oh, OK. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. But there you are. Can we talk? Would you mind if we didn't? If I get upset, my face will be in bits tomorrow. Oh. We're not going to get many chances before I go. And whose fault is that? Now, if you don't mind, I just want to sit here and not think about it. Right. Mm. Here we go. Last mm. night has signaled people time to go wild. <laughs> What's everyone having? Uh, uh, look, I'm not staying. I promised Shane we'd go over some stuff, so... Oh, well, you better not let him down. See you later. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. Okay. See you later. Everything all right with you, too? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just last minute arrangements. Well, nothing for you to worry about. Right. So, is the, uh, what's it still knocking? Well, you can't afford a new alternator. Hey, Doug and me, we'll pull an arm right here, right? We'll bang out a dent and we'll give her a respray. She'd be grand. Well, thanks for the offer, Ray, but how much is that going to cost? Well, not as much as been sued for false advertising. Showbiz. You know, that's not a bad idea. What, lying? No. Showbiz. How's it looking for tomorrow? It's grand, yeah, good. good. Is there anything I can do, or...? You never get tired of helping, Tommy, do you? I'm sorry, that... That was cheap, but... but I, I appreciate what you're doing for us. Yeah, but I'll drop in tomorrow, blow up a few balloons or whatever. Thanks. Yeah, see ya. Are you having your second child, daughter? It certainly beats the force, Nora. Ah, come on, I wasn't having to dig at you. I'll drop this in for Jack. Just check and tell there. I'm glad you got the young ones out of your system. All right. Hayley's nearly 30. In your day, what, she'd be popping out her fifth kid, wouldn't you? I'm glad it's over, anyway. How are things with Anto? I tell you, I am beyond being upset by that show. It wasn't you I was thinking of. Hey, love. What's this? Uh, Anto dropped it in by Jack. Oh, was Sharon with him? I think I'd be wearing this by now if Sharon was with him. Well, how was he? Well, he wasn't friendly. Still, he gave us this, didn't he? Yeah. Hi. 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 Hi.
Help making the phone call. She told me about the flyer. I'm sorry, Wayne. I shouldn't have had to go with you. You're my mother. You're entitled to Good man. You're not. All right. I'm sorry. You happy now? I'm getting there, yeah. Done. Subject confirmation. We might have our guest star. Oh. Mm. So Orla's out there organizing a celebrity for, for the launch, you know. Get us into the newspapers. Mm. Are you going to tell us who it is? I may, when they're confirmed. Now, what I need is like a drink. I'll have one. Right. I'll be back in a minute. I don't believe this. This is actually better than I thought. What is? It's a Melda May. Where'd you get a Melda May from? Are you going to tell us who it is? I may. A Melda May. You know the song? Johnny's got a boom boom. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna rewrite the song. We're gonna turn it into a jingle for the garage. Right? <laughs> Th this is gonna be epic. Mm. Okay, look, do you know I'll have all of the drinks? <laughs> do you know anybody who plays guitar? No way. Orange juice. You're not smelling my breath again. I mean it. What are you doing here? With someone? I'm Tim. I'm on the Dwayne team. Yeah. Hi. Well? Well, the community sent us clothes, the pig drummers, and we can't afford anything in Venus. So go home. There's Mouse having a party. Our home. That's not my home. I'm not even now in the kitchen. We pay rent. You've as much right to be there as she does. If we start bringing guests with me, she'll have a stroke. I'll talk to her. No more pubs, okay? Drink. Yeah, white wine, please. Orange juice for me. It's sold online for him. I mean it. I didn't get us a place so you can do your schoolwork in McCoy's. Then stop giving in to her. So you're sure you won't join us? She hasn't eaten. Uh, I should really make a start in packing. Okay. You be okay, Joe? All right. I'll see you. See, see you later. later. So, should we just do the row now? There is no row. Why not? It's what we're good at. We were starting to be a family. Especially with Heather and Ellie here. Yeah, but if you could keep one of us here, we both know it would be her. We were never one of those families that say, I love you, all over the place. Thank God. But you know I do, don't you? Myself and Bob are having a last meal as fiancés. Come and join us. Sounds like a couple thing. No, it's a family thing. Uh, we are not going to be the type that only meet for funerals. It's most families, ma. People grow up. Yeah, but grown up is overrated. I mean, look at me. <laughs> I'm marrying the biggest child in Carrickstown. I know. Come on, join us. You're gonna hug me. I will if you don't get your coat. All right, I'm going. And we return to Carrickstown at the usual time of eight o'clock tomorrow and Thursday. And then at half past eight on Sunday, right after the new series of Dancing with the Stars begins at 6.30. Next tonight, the new year starts in dramatic fashion for Mel and Ray's wedding day.